Hi, and welcome to Tellurium Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to create a phase plot of this basic positive feedback system, and I will show you how to create subplots of this phase plot as you change one parameter. So, let's just begin with a simple phase plot. A phase plot, rather than plotting the changes in concentrations against time, plus the changes in concentrations of each species against each other. So, we have to write our simulate now. We're going to call it M, and that just stores the array of all the values. So R dot si simulate. We'll go from 0 to 30 seconds with 300 points. And we will plot S1 against S2. And then we will go R dot plot M. And here we have our phase plot. As we can see, for each value of S1, it gives us another value of S2. And you can see that as they change, it oscillates around. This oscillatory nature of this graph is because that has to do with how the positive feedback oscillates. So, let's say we want to see how these oscillations change with a different value of K1. We're going to have to do this using a for loop. Okay, in order to create our array of subplots, we're going to first need to import another matplotlib toolkit. We can get rid of these two because they're unnecessary. And we'll change this to pi lab, not pi plot. We'll leave it as plt. Okay, we can delete this. So, first, we need to tell it that we want an array of subplots with three graphs in three graphs in each direction. So it's going to be plt dot subplots three comma three. Next, we have to tell it how big we want the entire figure size. So plt dot figure fig size twelve inches by six inches. Now we are ready to create our for loop for i in range 9, spelled range wrong, it's range 9 because we have 9 graphs in our 3 by 3 array. So first let's do r.reset just to make sure everything is up back at its starting concentrations before we run each individual model. Then we'll go m equals, this is our simulate, 0 to, we'll go longer, 50, no, even longer, 80, with 500 step points. Okay, now we're going to add our simulation, we'll call it m again, m equals r.simulate 0 to 80 with 500 points. Again, we're going to plot S1 against S2. Okay, now we have to do some stuff with the subplots. So it's plt dot subplot 3 comma 3 comma i plus 1. That tells it exactly which plot we want to draw to in our array. Then it's plt dot plot m colon So this funky notation is array shorthand notation. So the m is actually an array of all the values from the simulation. And this notation says, from the zeroth column, which is actually the first column, take every all information down the column. The same holds true for this, except you're going through the first column, not the zeroth column. So that prints all the, or plots all the values of S1 against all the values of F S2. Okay, now I'm going to add this plt dot legend line of code. Currently it's going to have an empty legend. Then we go r dot k1 equals r dot k1 0 0.2. Now it's ready to run. When we run this, we get our nine different subplots. 
So we can't really tell which is which because there's no legends on these. So let's add some legends. First, we have to import another matplotlib library. Okay. Okay, then we're going to say blue underscore line equals m lines line 2d. Okay, then in here we go that, that, color equals blue. That sets the line color to blue so it matches. Then we'll go label equals quote k1 plus the string value of r.k1. Then inside our legend, we go handles equals blue underscore line. That matches. Now when we run this, we will see that we have all the same graphs, except now they tell us what value of k1 we're looking at. Thank you for watching. Now you know how to create a phase plot for a positive feedback system. And you know how to create a ser series of subplots to visualize changes in oscillation as rate laws are changed.